All right, so uh, I was picking up the sky shards, and I come across this place here real quick. Uh, we're going to do something here. There's a pack guard right there. Now, if he sees me, I'm going to get arrested, but we're going to try to do this. So to sneak, I push my right trigger down, and I just move real slow, and you can see it says that I'm hidden. So I'm going to steal from this crate. Okay, why do I steal? Well, it gives me materials, and it will also start me a new skill line. So we're going to go ahead and steal from this crate. Now, I didn't get caught, because if not, I would have a bounty. So we're going to steal from this one also. Okay. So now, what do I do with these items that I just stole? Well, we need to find a fence. Okay, there's a fence in every major city. Okay, and how do I know that items are stolen in my bag? Well when I look in my inventory and I go under supplies to be under materials, there we go it actually says that it's stolen so in order to be able to actually use this item I need to put it uh, I need to fence it so I know that there is a fence right here okay it's a little icon like this there are actually two people in there okay so we're gonna run over there and we're gonna fence these items that I just got. Now you can either sell them, or you can fence them, which means you can make them you usable there. for you. How would you like to do something? Or you, you can sell them to the fence, sorry, or you can make them usable for you. Or once you make them usable for you, you can sell them in the guild store. Now you can't sell just one piece. You know, most people sell them in, pack, in groups of 200. But if you really need some cash and you really think that's the only way, you could put that one piece in there. Okay, so this is the Davin's Watch Outlaw's Refuge. So we're gonna go in there. Okay, we're inside. Uh, I'm going to go right here to this one. So we're gonna run straight down. And I believe it's to the left here. No, I understand. Okay, there are if quests here. Mind, okay, if you have uh, certain DLCs, you can do them. Okay, so I'm right here at the fence. So, Where store fence. Okay, so we have a screen here. I can either sell, or if I hit my right shoulder button, I can launder. Okay, so the ginger I'm going to launder, because I can use that for provisioning. And the plain sandals I'm going to sell. Okay, now I just gained the Ledger Main skill line. Now this is a hard skill line to level up. It takes a very long time to do uh, because you have to steal a lot of stuff. But what it gives you is improved hiding, light fingers if you're gonna pickpocket, it makes it easier to pickpocket. Okay, Trafficker gives you more interactions per day. Locksmithing, when you have to pick a lock, it makes it a little bit easier and kickback this is to reduce the bounties, so if they catch you, a guard catches you stealing, or somebody sees you stealing, when a guard comes, it'll cost you 10% less. So now we need to get out of here. Gonna pick up this uh, sky shard. I was gonna pick up and go straight to the harborage. All right, the harborage for me, as I said, is right around this corner. There's some jute. I can see it. I need that for crafting. I can see it now because I know that it's there, but somebody new may not realize that that's what that is. Gonna pick it up as we go, just so I have more crafting materials. Now you can bypass most of these crafting materials if you deconstruct enough stuff and have enough skill points. You will bypass some of these if you're that fast. Like I probably will, I'll probably bypass some. Okay, here's another Sky Shard. So now I have two of three pieces, so I, I need to get one more Sky Shard, then I'll get another skill point. There's a piece of wood. Everywhere you go, just keep it. Now, he, if I kill him, he'll give me Mud Crab Kite. It's a material that I need. Wrong here, it's like locked up. Okay, there we go. 
So he gave me rawhide scraps, but he will also give me mud crab chitin. Okay, all these things that you collect like that, I need to get 10 of those and it'll create a thing so that I can refine into an actual piece of material. So now we're at the Harbridge for me. Like I said, if you go back in the video, you'll see the where the Harbridge is located for you. If not, you can always go under Start, Journal, Quests, select the Harbridge, hit X, Show on Map, and it'll show you where you need to go. Okay, so I know that I need to go right there. All right, so I'm going to go do the Harbridge and the next Harbridge quest, and I will meet you on the other side. All right, so just finished that quest, and he is so slow. <clears throat> right beside him, there is a bookcase, a bookshelf. If you select it, it gave me a book, and it also increased my light armor. Uh, sorry, no, it didn't. It actually, uh, those were actually from the level up. Uh, but there is a book on there that went ahead, I read it, and you can read the whole book if you want. Uh, by getting on bookcases and selecting them, you sometimes find books that upgrade skill lines. Okay, so that's actually really important. Every bookcase that you find, click on it, and that way it'll help you increase your skill lines. Now, not every bookcase will give it to you. Uh, that one in ten may give it to you. Uh, just do every one of them. It takes you a second just to walk up, hit it, and then hit your B button if you don't want to read the thing, and you're done. Okay, so now I got some level seven rewards. So it tells me about the player guilds. Okay, now I gives me a Gold Coast Swift Survive Elixir. Okay, this restores health. Okay, so we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to slot this and a couple other things here. Okay, so now we have more skill points. Um, right now, I don't need any of these skills right now. That I, these are not any of the skills that I'm gonna use. So I'm not gonna put any skill points in them right yet. Uh, here in just a little bit, I believe, on the dual wield, I'm gonna start putting some in. And right here, I'm gonna put some in. But I'm gonna kinda wait until I get to level 15. That way I can kinda spread my skills out a little bit. Uh, right now I'm just going to keep these five on and the skill lines are just going to keep building up and building up and building up. Now we could put something in the armor that we're going to use. I know that mine is going to be a medium armor build. So I'm going to go ahead and put one into dexterity, which gives me uh, a weapon critical rating for each piece of medium armor equipped. So it gives me a 547. Okay, and that will be visible here under character. Okay. On the right hand side, you can see my weapon critical is now 12.4% before it was 10%. So I'm a little bit stronger. I'm a, my, when I hit somebody, it gives me a better chance to hit, make it a critical strike. As what well. it's not really stronger. It makes it more of a critical strike. Okay. So now in our inventory, we have all kinds of stuff now. So I have a lot of recipes that I took from my bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use all these real quick. Okay, now I have a glyph here, Inferior Glyph of Health. Okay, I can do two things with this. I can either deconstruct it, well three things, deconstruct it, sell it, or I can actually use it. Well, how do I use a glyph? I'm gonna go under one of my items here. Okay, so my helmet. And I'm going to hit Y. You don't have to go all the way in. You can just do it from here also. You just hit Y. Enchant. Oh, what kind of glyph is this? This is a... This is an armor glyph. Level 5. Oh, because of my gear is not level 5, I can't use it right now. I have to have at least level 5 gear. Okay, so it says right there, minimum level 5. Due to the fact that my gear is not level 5, it's actually level 1. I could apply it to my jack, so we'll go ahead and do that. But I think it's giving me stamina. Let's see if I got something else I can apply it to. No, I don't have that one. So I'd have to create more gear in order to do it a little bit better. But he also gave me a ring here. He gave me a Magicka recovery ring. So I'm gonna probably go ahead and deconstruct this as soon as I can. Uh, that's probably what I'll do, or I'll research it. Okay, one or the other. 
All right, so now, like I said, I have lots of items, but they're just not usable in this, slottable items. They're just not usable here. So how do I make these usable where I can actually get to them? Well, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go over the item and I'm gonna hit X and then I'm gonna select where I wanna assign it with using the left thumbstick. So I want this one to be accessible. So I'm gonna go ahead and push the thumbstick all the way up, hit A to assign it, and now it's assigned in that spot. Same thing for these, for these uh, fortifying. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use one now and I'll show you what it does. If you look at my health um, right now, my health is 22,000, my magic is 17,000, and my max stamina is 20,000. So this is a food, and it's gonna increase those. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it, okay? Now, this is a crown item. This can be used uh, on any level character, but there are types of foods that can only be used on certain level characters. Okay, so now I have increased by a lot. So my max magic has increased, my max health has increased, and my max stamina has increased. Okay, anything else in my inventory that I can slot? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and assign this one. Okay, I'm gonna put that one probably over here for now. Okay, now the last thing, or the next, sorry, not the last thing, the next thing I'm gonna show you here is under social emotes. Okay, we have all of these things that we can do in uh, when we're, so we don't have to type them out. It makes them a little bit easier to do. Now, certain things are chat and certain things are actions. So let's say I do uh, physical and I go down to jumping jacks, he'll exercise, okay? So if I wanna be funny and slot this somewhere, how do I do that? So I go under start, social, emotes, physical, okay, and I select the one that I want, then I'm gonna hit X for assign, then I pick the one that I wanna put it in, okay, so let's put it all the way over here to the right, okay, and we're also going to assign, quick chat, we're gonna do hello, I'm gonna assign that, probably put that up here at the top, because we're gonna use that a lot, goodbye, oh, I actually made him use it, I didn't wanna use it, let's do it, let's do, Goodbye, we're gonna assign that one down at the bottom. Okay, and what else do we have? Spread out, get close, attack the boss, boy. Okay, there's a lot of them here that you can use, um, mainly in group functions, but now I'm gonna go ahead and assign this one to somewhere. Thank you, somebody does something nice for you. Okay, so now how do I access this quickly? Well, on my D-pad, I hold down the right, and there's the menu. So I just select the one that I want to use and then let it go. And he says, hello. So these are good. These are for when you're in a group, it helps out a lot. Instead of having to type every single thing out, how do we get out of here? Here we go. And we don't have to type every single thing out because if not, it takes too long. And when you're in a group situation fighting, uh, it's a problem. Where's the exit? It's right here in front of us, okay. All right, so now we have amassed some items. Uh, probably, maybe we need to put some stuff inside the bank. Okay, so how do we do that? Let's say I want to put the roast pig in the bank or something in the bank, like this blacksmith survey. Okay, so how do I do that? Well, we need to get to a bank. Okay, every major city has a bank. And I will speed up the video so you don't have to follow me all the way there. All right, now we are at uh, where we need to be at Davin's Watch. Uh, as you can see, I just received a quest called Daughter of Giants that says I have to go back to the Harborage. So that will be the next quest I do, because as you can see, we are constantly getting skill points from that, which upgrades 
our level, our uh, skills. So right here we have the bank. Okay, so this it's the icon. You can tell it's bank. So I'm gonna run over there to the bank real quick, and we're gonna deposit an item in the bank. Every major city has a bank, so you can always find one. Now I, there are characters that are banks also. Uh, like I have, I have two cats that are my banks, but starting out as a new character, you won't be able to use those. Uh, you have to buy them in the crown store, depends on how many crowns you have. Okay, so I'm gonna talk to this guy. Okay, so I'm gonna go under bank. Then I'm gonna go with the right shoulder button to deposit. I'm gonna scroll down to what I wanna deposit into the bank. And then I hit A for deposit. Now, if I hit left, I can withdraw items from that I have stored in the bank. Tons of stuff there. All right, so he also has the guild bank, depending on what level you are in your guild, how your guild's set up, if you can access items from it. And then here's your guild store. This is where you're gonna sell items. So the first tab is browse. That's where I search for an item I wanna buy. This is where an item, this is where I sell an item that I have. So if I wanna sell an item here, I select the item that I want. Then I hit A again to give it a price. So if I wanted to sell this for 100 gold, I could sell it for 100 gold. But I'm not gonna sell this one, it's not worth it. Uh, probably will never sell because it's too low. Okay, so I'm gonna back out of this one. And then the last one are the items that you are selling actually in the guild store. All right, so that's it. So now we're gonna come out here And at this point, uh, now we know how to deconstruct items. Uh, the main thing to remember on deconstruction is the order in which you want to research. So don't forget researching your items. You want to research probably training first. Then you want to, uh, when you're talking about uh, clothing, even weapons, probably training first. Uh, we'll go over that one more time here. Uh, where is my thing? Okay, so weapons researching, you want to research first on weapons, uh, sorry, on weapons, you probably want to do precise, infused, sharpened, and decisive. Training is if you're new, you probably want to do this again, just like the other ones. It's not necessary because you can only have 200% uh, increase in training. So if you are using a scroll, such as, uh, I think this one here, this is a grand, this is 150%. If I have also my weapons as training, this scroll, I'm using too much. It won't allow me to use all, whatever it is, 250%. I don't remember the percentage. It's either 200 or 300%. Um, I'll put it on the screen here as we go. Now with this one here, if I have my weapons and everything, uh, armor and everything under training, I can use this scroll, okay? But I believe this scroll will make it a waste. Um, 250, no, you could do it with this one because when they have the festivals and stuff, you get a 100% increase plus this, plus your training gear, so you get a 300% increase in experience. Uh, so this one would be fine. You could use this one with all your gear. So under here, under the research, okay? So we wanna research uh, for um, damage dealers, you want to do precise, infused, and sharpened. And if you are probably going to be a tank, you'll probably want to be decisive. And then also Nern Honed. Nern Honed is, gives you an in increased power on your weapon. Um, it gives you like a 15% increase if you're gold. Now most of the other ones... Uh, research these only if you don't have something else to research on uh, one of those items that we talked about before. As I said, if you're a tank, do this one and this one. If you're the, uh, the damage dealers, you want to do sharpened, infused, and precise. And at the very beginning, you always want to do training first. As for the weapon, as for the apparel, we want to do infused, 
uh, training infused divines and sturdy and reinforced for tanks and impenetrable if you're going to do PvP. Alright, so I will see you at level 10. Um, you have enough information to carry on by yourself? You know how long I've been looking for you.